Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Paula and today we are going to tackle a more difficult subject. This is a subject that's hard to talk about. This is a subject we all find difficult when we are going through this and it's the subject of depression. Oh, I was doing some reading on Google the other day and it said on average there are 121 suicides per day. And that just kind of broke my heart. Now I'm going to be putting down below this video the National Suicide Hotline. So if you're going through something that you don't see you can get through and you just need somebody to talk to, please call this number. So I just wanted to point that out before we really jump into this video. Some people don't know what depression is. Um, a lot of times you find a loss of uh, the things you love the most. You don't want to do them. You just want to pull away from those people that you love to talk to the most. You want to be alone. You often break out in tears. Just and you, Sometimes you don't know why you're crying. You just start crying. Uh, it's hard sometimes for those of us to admit that we are going through depression. And, you know, but yet many suffer with it. And there are ways to get around these things. I often tell people that suicide is a permanent solution to a temporary problem. And although you are ending your own life, there is so much pain you're causing those that you love and those that love you. You know, your friends, they want the best for you if they're good friends, if they're the right kind of friends that you should have. They only want the best for you. You know, I've known quite a few friends that suffer with depression, and I have suffered with depression through the years. And when I went through it, I know I pulled away from all my friends. I didn't want to talk to them. They called. I didn't want to answer the phone. I didn't want to go anywhere. All I wanted to do is just cry and stay to myself. That was it. So I went to the doctor, and I told the doctor what was up, and the doctor gave me some medication, and it helped. Suddenly, I was seeing things more clearer did not make me tired in the least. I was able to function again and I was able to learn to love life again. And then when you're ready to go off the medication, talk to your doctor and your doctor and you will, you know, gradually go off this medicine. They So it's it's not addictive, but it's better that you go slowly off the medicine. Uh you know, um life is so fragile. But everything that you're going through whether Maybe it's bullying. Let's tackle bullying for a minute. You know, the people that are bullying you, there's something wrong that they don't have themselves. Now, I was bullied in high school and even through life. And a lot of times when people bully me, I come up with the most sarcastic anything that I can think of. And they're like left with like the sharp look on their face. And they realize they can't get me, so they go to the next one. But sometimes it does hurt. And although I've come off with my retaliation, what I have to do is say, you have no power over me. Not through their face, not out loud, unless somebody else is not around. Uh, you know, I wait till I get home or in the car and I'm like, you have no power over me. You do not control me. You do not control how I see life. Because, you know, a lot of times we put so much power in these people that seem so much better than us. But if you could see their own life, they're lacking something that makes them want to come after other people. And it's, you know, sadly, it goes on every single day, even as adults. So maybe if that's what you're going through, maybe it's a breakup. Well, you know what? There's other people that's better than the one you were with. Sometimes it might be a hallelujah moment that they broke up with you because, you know, you want somebody that's going to love you for who you are. You don't want somebody that's going to change, want to change you or want to control you or is abusive to you in any way. You want somebody that's going to love you for who you are. And that love is like a best friend, you know, a best friend, wife, husband. You know, it's where each and every day seems like a new day. And hold on. Hey! Sorry about that. I just seen that my dogs were trying to tear a pillow up. Uh, hey! Sergeant Major. Thank you. So sorry. So sorry. I'm so sorry. So anyways, uh, maybe it's your kids. Maybe they're just being brats. Not, you know, kill their Wi-Fi. You know, uh, 
a few days without Wi-Fi for my kids. I wait till in the fetal position, and then that's when I turn it back on. Uh, they're in the fetal position. Believe me, they'll straighten up. They want that Wi-Fi bad enough. They want that Xbox. Sometimes I think we're too lenient on our kids to the point that they control us. And it's time that we get our power back as parents. You know, um, they're going to make mistakes. There's, and you're going to make mistakes as a parent. There's no accurate book on raising kids out there. And so, you know, just take it day by day. No matter what it is, take it day by day. You, you know, hey, days of mate. And so, sorry, once again, there after that pillow. And so, you know, just, you know, um, you know, I am so sorry. I just lost track. Um, okay, so, um, yeah. Every time I try to do this video, something happens. And this time it was the dogs trying to eat the pillow in the background. And uh, I think now they're listening. You know, it's always something around this house. Those are my husband's dogs. And this is my service dog, Charlie. He's the only one that's mostly well-behaved. And uh, so, okay. Let's go on. <laughs> I am so sorry, guys. Um, I lost train of track. Okay. Uh, train of thought, that is. I was like, All right. You can get through each and every day but you know if you feel like you can only make it through five minutes okay make it through five minutes but once you make it through those five minutes go for 10 more minutes go for 30 minutes go for an hour the next thing you know say you know what I'm going to sleep on it if you can make it through that day you just slept on hey you can make it through two days I am so sorry hold on one moment and um, okay no more that. Okay, I am so sorry, guys. I am so sorry. Okay. From the pillow. Okay, so I have a garbage can right here. Uh, so, you know, I am so Everything happens. I am kid you not. I have been trying to do this video four different times and four different times something has happened and I decided no matter what I'm rolling without a cut in this one so here we are okay I hid the pillows out of sight out of mind okay so you know two if you can find somebody to talk to whether it be a therapist whether this 800 number that's going to be below this video um whether it's a friend if you have at least one friend that you can trust you call that friend those of you that have friends that are going through depression, are that yeah, you call that friend, okay? Um, there was one time, okay, I've got a friend, I'm sure she wouldn't mind me sharing this, but this has been years ago, and I just had this bad feeling. It's just this nagging feeling to call her, like something was wrong. So I called her, and I'm like, are you okay? And she's like, well, why do you ask? I'm like, I was just curious. I just had this bad feeling. I wanted to make sure you were okay. Well, I did not know at the time she was planning to take her own life and she had everything ready. And I stopped her from doing it just by a simple call. She never told me that day. Okay, not at all about that day. She ended up telling me it was a few years later after that what had happened. And I'm just sitting here. She said there was like three times that happened. But, you know, if I get a bad feeling, I know either I need to pray for them or I need to call them. And also, you know, I usually do both. You know, I, I pray real quick and then I call them because I'm like, hey, you all right? Do you need anything? No, I love you. I just want you to know I love you. And a lot of times that's all anybody needs to hear is that you love them. I'm sorry, you need to be picked up. And, um... Uh, because, you know, going through depression, you feel there's not any hope. Nobody loves you. Nobody cares. You're afraid to open up about what's going on because you think you're afraid other people are going to think you're a weirdo or whatever. And that's not the case. You know, my deepest and darkest depression was when my brother died. And I had um, some friends that were really there for me through that hard time. And uh, they understood. And they didn't push out, okay, um, you know, Everybody has their own form and length the time that they mourn. Nobody can tell you when to stop grieving. 
Nobody. Nobody can tell you how to handle death. Uh, you know, when you lose someone you love, maybe that's why you're going through depression. Uh, and it's just a day-by-day -day experience and having somebody to talk to. Um, even a therapist, if you can find a good therapist. Uh, you know, it can be anybody. So, I want you guys to know, first of all, you're not alone. When you're going through this, there are other people that are also going through hard times. So, number one, you're not alone. Number two, you were loved. I mean, if you got one person that loves you, you got all the love in the world. If you don't have anybody that loves you, well, God loves you. Uh, you know, if it wasn't for my Christian faith, I don't know where I'd be today. Um, you know, I have two wonderful parents that raised me right, and they're always there for me. Some of you don't have family, and I'm sorry about that. You know, if you don't have a friend, there's this, that 800 number right below here. I'll try to keep up with my comments on this post as well. But you're not alone. You are loved. You are talented. Everybody has at least one talent. And you need to be proud of that talent. And you need to go after that talent, no matter what it is. Writing, singing, anything. Anything. Acting. Some people are so good at drama. Uh, you know, whatever it is, go after it. What's stopping you? What's holding you back? What are you let? And, you know, you don't have to let that hold you back or anybody hold you back. Go after it. Um, just be yourself and people will love you for who you are. And so I guess that's all I got for today. And uh, I hope all of you are having a really great day. And uh, I... I love all of you guys. I thank every one of you for the time you spend on my channel. Charlie does too. Everybody knows my service dog, Charlie. He doesn't have his vest on today. But we're not going anywhere today. And say hi. This is Charlie. This says that most of you are going to see him in almost every video. Because he's always on top of me. And But uh, he's being a little rambunctious today. So... This is your little smile for the day. And, I, okay, say hello. Can you say hello? Can you say hello to the camera? Can you say hello? That's Sergeant Major back there. His sister, which is the bigger one, it's his uh, twin. And, uh, Daisy May. See if she'll jump up here. Daisy May's a little sweet on Charlie. Come here. Come on. Jump on up. Jump. There you go. Come on. This is Daisy May. She's a little sweet on Charlie, and Charlie's a little sweet on her. And, uh, you know, she's she's a bigger woman than he is by far, but he don't care. He thinks she's pretty. But, uh, you know, he can't have any babies. He's been fixed. And uh, so, I guess that's all I got to say. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching my video.